Welcome guys, this is Edwin and today we're going to be talking about this handmade custom bullnose carambe. Okay, and this is one of those pieces that I got from Area 51. So I do have a description of it from Ernest Emerson. Okay, let's look at that box real quick first. Bullnose carambe and then on the other side the bullnose carambe handmade Emerson carry. And that's right, guys. This was one of those knives that Ernest Emerson himself carried back in the day. And let's look at it titled Bullnose Crambit Handmade. I'll go through this description and then we'll compare it with the CQC7, the Spider Co., some Bug 110 and 112, so you can see in terms of size comparison how it looks. Bullnose Crambit Handmade. I found this knife at home. Guess where? Of all places in my nice stand drawer, underneath some other things. I built this knife sometime in 2003 and I really like the stout punchiness, if, if that's a word, of the bullnose design. Quit out of the pocket, quit straight out and quit straight back, ready to strike again. Here is the knife I carry for quite some time before I rotate it out to the nightstand. It got just a little pocket holster wear on the G10, but it's in near perfect condition and the blade is spotless. I never had to punch anyone with it. If you get this one, I hope you never need to either, but just in case you do. <laughs> very cool, very cool description. I love this little snippet of history and information that is coming from Area 51 for some of this blade, so very, very cool. Now let's look at this karambit. One of the things, built in 2003, we know that those are the old school star, style of frame, right? That hole, that circumference is a little bit smaller, but I really like it, okay? I really like that old school G10. This was hand fitted, handmade by, by Ernest Emerson, so you can see some of that, you know, contouring on that G10 that will feel incredible, right? The, the Karambit, you know, it's a small knife, guys, but guys, the bullnose make it a very utilitarian style of blade. You can use this blade for self-defense, for any EDC type of task, anything, okay? You can do anything with this type of utilitarian bullnose blade. Like we know, right, you have this Emerson spec war knife, meaning that it's a custom and a hand ground, handmade knife by Ernest Emerson. The Karambi, the bullnose, will have a V grind, meaning that it's grind on this side and ground on the other side. And then you will have that chisel edge that characterizes Ernest Emerson's designs, right? Very, very cool. Look at that grind, guys. Beautiful in this tiny bullnose configuration. The Karambi guys, they always come with an opening hole that works excellent, okay? Works excellent. And the wave, guys, is great in the Karambi platform. I can deploy this knife 100% of the times, no question asked with my other Karambits. This one as well. I started carrying this one as soon as I got it. And guys, very happy with this bullnose design. And again, construction G10, like we mentioned, that smaller ring that works excellent in the hand, you know? I have no issues with it. If you have really big hands, this platform might be a little bit small for you. And then you should look at something called the Super Karambit. I don't own any of those, but be aware. Old school design, it does have that on the back, right? That back spacer, G10 back spacer, and then your clip with that exposed ring that that's what you want guys okay that's what you want with the karambit platform to be able to snatch that right away from your pockets let me show you how this platform compares to the cqc7 we know the cqc7 another great classic 3.3 inch blade okay and overall it's almost you know eight eight point something inches let me show you how it compares with the Buck 110 that we know is a big knife, but just to give you a perspective on that one. And then in terms of size, it's more closer to, you know, the little brother of the Buck 110, the Buck 112. And you can see, right, those blades, very utilitarian, very friendly to use. And you have that ring that gives you that support of the Karambi. That is excellent, in my opinion. 
And guys, very excited to have this one in my collection. And of course, guys, if you have any comments, feel free to comment on YouTube, Instagram, and of course, in caloblade.com, I do have all the direct links for Emerson Echo Group, Emerson Operator, US and Forum guys, that we are always there hanging out and having a great, great time. You guys stay safe out there. Bye.